Can you really add it if you didn't take a photo of it? <laughs> That's true. That's how it goes. <laughs> If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What's going on folks? It's Mr. Bucket List here, and today I'll be reviewing Playmakers on Royal Caribbean. Let's check it out. Just a heads up, this review will be very short. Um, I didn't have that much footage from it, so I had to shorten down the review. Um, just some quick tips about it. So Playmakers is on a lot of the newer Royal Caribbean ships. So Oasis class, Quantum classes, most larger newer ships, they almost all have some version of Playmakers on there. This footage is actually from Odyssey of the Seas, but I have been to the locations on one of the seas, Cynthia Seas, a couple different ones, but this is the one I actually stopped in to have a meal at. Uh, number two is this restaurant is almost a la carte, so pretty much you, you don't need a dining package to go in here. You can go here anytime. You don't need a reservation. Just walk in here and you pretty much pay per item like you're going to a regular restaurant. It's not that expensive compared to real restaurants on land. I think wings were like a couple of dollars here and there. It wasn't bad prices for a cruise ship. So that's kind of the information stuff I want to get out the way. As far as the food, so I ended up getting a couple of different things. Um, the first thing I got was this Tower of Onion Rings. And so it was actually really good because you walk and see it's pretty stacked. Um, so I mean, again, like I said, I was just trying different things out for you all to kind of enjoy and see what I can get. After that, I actually got the Playmakers fries. And so these are almost like some fries with some like cheese sauce on them. And then they also had um, Parmesan cheese as well. So that was really good. And then last but not least, I got the wings. These wings were amazing. I'm a huge wing fan. As you all know, wings are starting to get expensive on cruise ships. Thankfully here, I'll put the price in there eventually, but they weren't bad, they were really good. Now, I also got some dessert as well, which is rare for me. This was really good. I wanted to get this little cup and saw, um, well, this bowl thing. It was great. Again, I'm not a huge dessert guy, but that was amazing. And it's kind of a confirmation of my meals all together. Um, but long story short, if you're someone that loves pub food, um, if you love the activity of being in like a bar or whatever, if you love sports, come to Playmakers. Um, I even did go back a day later and I tried this burger as you all can see. Mm, this thing was so good, plus it comes with those fries. I wouldn't have bought the fries separately if I had to know the burgers come with the fries regardless. Um, but either way, the burger was definitely worth it, plus it was good to have those fries. And not only that, but you can sit here, you can watch sports. I was actually watching the NCAA um, championships. And then I also was watching um, people just playing volleyball and soccer. I watched so many different sports just from the Playmakers bar. And so not every Playmakers on World Caribbean is like this. The one on Wonder, for example, was in the middle of the boardwalk. The only thing you really could see was the carousel. But this one on Quantum of the Seas, well, excuse me, on Odyssey of the Seas and Quantum Class ships is going to be over kind of like the sea play. So you'll see different activities depending on when you're there. So long story short, this is definitely a must do. I hope you all enjoyed this review. This is Mr. Bucketlist. Please make sure to check out my full review of this ship. And I'll see you soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.